boy African Mike, you already know. Hey, Jane. In the building with me, man. <laughs> hey, today we're gonna talk to you guys about the do's and don'ts of fashion when getting ready to go for a job interview. It's gonna be a fun segment. We're gonna try and make it as much fun as we can. Um, big thanks to Wilhelmina Bazaar. You Shout know, out Wilhelmina. They give us a few models that had to walk the wrong way to show us what and what not to wear. Also, thank you to the models. Thank you very much. Big shout out to Bassett Play Small. We see you guys. El Paso, Texas. Hey, much love. Thank you for all the <laughs> outfits. Thank you for every single opportunity you gave us. We look to working with you guys a lot more. Now again, to the do's and don'ts of, of fashion. The do's and don'ts of fashion. Do's and don'ts. Yeah, can you please tell them, Fair, um, Miss Farrah Jane, a little yes. bit about the do's and don'ts of fashion um, when the ladies are getting ready ladies for a job interview. Definitely don't want to over underdress. Don't dress too skimpy. Don't do too much. Try to research the company that you're going for. Try to get the dress code, an idea of the way you're supposed to be presented at the interview. Make sure you put the time into researching the company so you can get the job you want. Um, we're going to show you guys a few clips right now to show you guys how to and how not to dress for a job in India. Hope you enjoy that and we'll see you back in the studios in a second. African Mike. The first outfit that we have for the day would be a great outfit to wear for a casual wear. This would be a great outfit to wear on a casual day at work after you've got the job. This wouldn't be a great outfit to wear to a job interview. Um, it's a great mixture of colors, but those are not the right shoes to wear to a job interview. Here's Gabby. She's wearing a New York and Company. Although it's a super cute outfit I would even wear myself, I wouldn't wear it to a job interview. The skirt should be cut right below the knee, and the shoes should not cut off the ankle. Something you'd want to stay away from when you're wearing a pencil skirt. Next, we have Trevor. Trevor is wearing this outfit that you can get at Kohl's and this outfits will work separately but you do not want to mix this outfit together like he did. The boots he's got on are a complete no-no. You do not want to wear that to a job interview and the way he mixed all those colors and those outfits together do not work for a professional setting interview. Carissa is wearing New York and Company. This outfit is good for an interview, but also remember less is more. The heels are a little too high and it's also over accessorized. That is true. Do you think it would work if she takes the scarf off? Would that work for a professional setting? I think if she took the scarf off, the outfit would be just perfect for an interview. Great. All right, well that's a good example of overdressing. And if you notice how much of a difference it made when she took off the scarf, so just try to keep it simple, but not too simple. True, true. Hey, like you said, dress the job you want. Dress to impress. <laughs> he got a new flow, I heard he fit the stack cream. Oh, you didn't know, homie, that's the new thing. The new thing, homie, that's the new thing. Oh, you didn't know, homie, that's the new thing. What is that? Yo, it's your boy African Mike. Hey, thank you very much for being on the show with us. A Bars, you already know we're out here doing big things. Official Abars.com. We're gonna take you guys to the clip so you can see this. All the do's. These are the do's. This are how you want to dress for a job interview. Get yourself ready, be prepared for it, and make sure you're dressed right for it. Let's watch the clip. Here we have John. John is wearing this outfit from the Target collection. This is a perfect outfit to wear to a job interview. It's a good no tie look because it doesn't have a jacket on neither. Um, this look will work for a professional setting. Just to ensure you research the company and make sure you want to know if you should have a tie and a jacket on or not. And here is Victoria, also wearing New York and Company. With black and white, you can never go wrong. Just make sure you wear it correctly. She could have even tied a bow with her top and still pulled it off for an interview. Notice the length of her skirt as well. We have Trevor again wearing another outfit from the Mark Anthony collection from Kohl's. This would be a great look for a job interview. It's also another no-tie look. Here's Jenny, New York and Company. 
Gray slacks and a pink plush top are a good example of mixing colors with neutral colors. If you're going to pair colors, make sure it is something soft and undertoned. Next we have Kevin. Kevin is mixing the Coles and Mark Anthony collection. You can never go wrong with black slacks for a job interview and a gray shirt. Just make sure you do what he did. Tuck the shirt in, pair with a nice belt and a pair of nice dress shoes. Here's Susie. She is wearing a tra traditional black power suit mixed with a fun top. Looks perfect until her shoes. Make sure your shoes complete your outfit. Beware of the shoe style and the season. Next, we have yours truly, African Mike, you know, with the Mac Mark Anthony collection. You could pull this look off. This is a great no tie look, depending on the setting of the job. Um, this would be a great outfit to wear to work every day after the job interview, and it would be a great look for a job interview. Just make sure you research the company and make sure the no tie look is an approved look. Here's Pamela. This is another good example of neutral colors and mixing colors. She's in a pencil skirt and is wearing minimal accessories. Also, make sure your top is solid when you're mixing colors. Last but definitely not the least, we have Christian. Christian is wearing a Mark Anthony collection from Kohl's. This is a very, very great suit to wear for a professional setting interview. But I just want to touch up on one thing. Make sure it's sized right for you and you're comfortable in the suit you wear. Yo, welcome back. Thank you very, very much for spending your day with us. Checking us out. Out right, here, official 8bars.com. 8bars. You already know. Fair Jane. It's your boy. Signing off. Right. Find me on Instagram at fairjane89. Facebook, fairjane. You already good know. Good luck out there. 8bars, I'll see you. 8bars at a time. We're out here getting it, man. Hey, good luck on your job interview. what you're doing if you want to get on here. Don't forget to visit the website, official8bars.com, with a Z at the end. You already know how we're doing it. Now, back to what I'm saying on this whole fashion thing. Look, you already have the job interview schedule. The job is almost yours. Make sure you dress the roles. You sit all the do's, you sit all the don'ts. I'm just going to touch up on little points here and there. Um, you don't want to wear tight clothes. Make sure you're comfortable in the clothes. People make mistakes where they dress the role and they're not comfortable. You don't want to wear clothes that are too small. You've seen examples. It's obvious the person interviewing is going to be able to tell right away that's a bad trait to have when you go for a job interview. So guys, make sure you dress fit and dress right for the job interview. Eight bars. Dark gift. Records. Shout out to Miss Virgin. Yeah, yeah. Clowns, da, skip.